Well, welcome to another Blender VSC tutorial with 3.edit. G'day. This time I'll be covering simple proxies and setting up bin views. Now, I find after shooting a bunch of clips, I can't edit them directly on the Blender VSC timeline. My machine's just not quick enough and they play back too slowly. So, I generally perform a batch compression with stream clip. clip. And here you can see a batch window. Now, I've already done that. I've then placed them into a folder. And the folder structure that I've provided is two folders, one with offline footage and one with online footage. Now they've got different names depending on what I'm using them for. As you can see at the moment the offline footage is quite large, it's got about 900 meg in it, while the online footage is a bit smaller at 50 meg. Now that that's online footage is currently being used as proxies and the whole point of proxies I guess is to use one lot of footage as a substitute for another lot the other footage being much too large to play back and I can reuse that later at render time. Anyway, moving on to their use in Blender, I'll be using Blender 2.57 today. I'm going to begin by loading up the, uh, the clips that I've used or I've compressed. So I'll do that by pressing Shift A on the timeline. I'll go down to Movie and we'll select the online footage and there's a bunch of clips there. I'll select all of those and press add movie strip. Of course I've already taken uh, already taken the precaution of setting up my timeline with the same frame rate so that there's no uh, mismatched audio and video uh, on the timeline. That's when one ends up shorter than the other. Just zoom out there. Now I need to extend my duration down to the end of the uh, clips. I'll just first of all G key and drag them back to start. Zoom in here. G, drag them to the start. Find out what the last frame is. It seems to be 4722. I'll copy that, control C and paste it into the end, control V. Now I have a region that will play in its entirety. Now what I'd like to demonstrate is that uh, I want to set up a bin view now with these proxies so that I can shuffle through different lots of footage to use in my master clip or my master timeline. So I'll do that by duplicating a window. Let's pick one to duplicate. I'll try this one. View, duplicate area into new window. Done that. Now I've got a floating window which I'll put up here and resize like this fairly small. And I'll change the nature of that. In fact, I might change it to timeline. Drag down another window. I'm going to change this window to outliner. You'll see why in a moment. And I'll make this bottom window, uh, let me see, need another view make this a, ti a timeline to scrub. Timeline, there it is. Now of course this everything I do on this window is affecting the other window on the other side. That's because it's the same scene. Might create one more view here. Middle mouse button and grab that to drag along. I want to look at the picture. Yes, as I say, this is the same scene. I'll just resize the master edit to there. I'm going to rename this scene master edit. You can see up here the scene is called master edit. And what I'm going to do is duplicate that, so full copy for that scene. Now I've created another scene. I'm going to rename it Camera 1. Could be anything, of course, depending on what I've shot on different days or in different locations or on different cards. I'm going to arbitrarily just split these shots in half. Press the A key to deselect or the A key to reselect everything. 
I'm going to deselect it. Then I'll press the B key and do a region select of, of some material, some clips. I'm going to copy those and then I'm going to delete them. Then I will make a uh, new scene, copy settings to the new scene. I'm going to change this one to camera 2 and I'll paste those, control V, paste those clips back on the timeline drag them back to the start. So now I've effectively got two camera clips over here on my source bin. One and two. One of course is parked at the end. Press the home key and it'll resize. In fact, we might change, whoops, change the length of this back to 2470. So I copy that, paste in there. So now when I press the home key, it'll resize to just the length of those camera clips. I'll do the same in the uh, camera 2 window. I'll copy the duration uh, that I'm parked onto into the end frame, paste that there and then when I press the home key it resizes to fit all of them in there. Now coming back to my master window I'll swap back to my master edit. Now I don't want any of these because these are all source material now so I'll delete those and then I can perform some edits. Maybe I'll go back to camera clip one, camera card one, find some material here that I like. I like that shot there. So I'm going to select both of those, shift and click. I'll press the K key to cut them. Play on a little bit further, stop there, K key to cut that. Zoom in a little bit press A to deselect and press B to select the shot that I wanted. I'm going to copy that, Control C to copy. I'll come back to my master timeline and pr press Control V to paste. Doesn't now we can see that I've now made that my first shot on the timeline. Whoops. Maybe I want to select something off of camera 2. I'll pop change by my uh, as you can see I'm using an outline of view up here, I've swapped to camera 2. I can now scrub to the end of camera 2 somewhere. Some nice exteriors there. Zoom in, I'll press play. Alt A to stop. Cut. Alt A to play. Alt A, there's me talking in the background. K to cut again. I'll select, right mouse click, select and control click on the next one, I'll copy those, come back to my master timeline, find a spot that I want to paste them, control V, yep, and paste it onto the timeline, The only problem seems to be that pasting onto the timeline doesn't f work very effectively. It just seems to go a little bit wherever it wants. Play that back now. Change shot. There you go. So there's cutting two shots in and uh, moving them around on the timeline. Now if I want to change these over to my high quality shots because I find that the, uh, the quality in the image just isn't there on these proxies, although they do scrub nice and quickly and they do play back nice and smoothly, then we can simply swap the uh, swap over the offline and online footage folders and then Blender will recognize that and uh, use the uh, higher resolution footage appropriately. So I'll do that. First of all I'll save my file. I'll exit from Blender. Thank you. offline footage has to become the online footage at the moment I'll do this because it doesn't like having the same name in the same folder of course off whoops uh, MPEG stream clip still open so I'll close that quit Re whoops rename oh dear offline 
rename to online and now I'll restart Blender. Here it is. Just wait for Blender to start up. Of course it'll be in its default. I'll turn back on to start setup tutorial, which we we're just working on. And it hasn't remembered this screen settings. Great. Just resize that. Normally it does. Normally it's quite good at remembering these things. And now I find that it doesn't play back correctly because it's at much higher quality and it can't manage it. But it does look much nicer. So there we go. I could do my final render now that I've made all my decisions. So anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this. Uh, just remember if, if you would like any further, uh, further information, then just come to the uh, website at Blender VSE. Oops. BlenderVSE.wordpress.com. There we go. That didn't work quite as well as I thought it was going to. <laughs> anyway, um, please check back there for any more updates on uh, tutorials and uh, VSE and compositing goodness. Thanks very much for listening.